All right, Rick Wool again, again, back with another blind bag special. With the way it's been going lately, this may be my last for a while because I've been getting far too many swaps. But hopefully, I can have something different this time. Well, we've certainly got one thing that's definitely different. That I'll be looking at momentarily. But to start with, let's start with the Monsters vs Zombies. <coughs> Excuse me. Monsters vs Zombies, Series 1. This has been the worst offender so far for swaps. So let's hope that this actually provides something a little bit different. About time they did. Didn't slip that all the way, which is a shame. Come back and look at the figure momentarily. For the moment, let's have a quick scan once more of the other figures available. Playsets available. I will be picking one of these playsets up at some point, I'm sure. Because I really do like the concept. Oh, we've got an, we've got Frankie. We've got Frankenstein's monster. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Better start already. And look at that. What a wonderful sculpt on that figure. Can you see that? Sally face. Uh, big thing across the top. A gash across the top where he's had his head sewn back on. So he's had a brain put in. Looks really flat foot. Looks like Frankenstein's monster. Fun fact, of course, in the in uh, Frankenstein, the monster was named Adam. The first of a new line. Yeah, on here, build as Frankenstein's monster. Said he glows in the dark, which is really nice. Not sure if he counts as a zombie or a monster. He's sort of between the two. If we ever had storylines going with that, that'd be fun to look at, to see how they played him. But yeah, articulation, head, arms, waist, legs. Nothing too spectacular, but exactly what you'd expect from a little character building figure. Big fan of character building figures. Better than Lego because they actually include waist articulation. Okay, let's hope this is the start of something new. And get all new figures. Skip. Let's pop open the Scooby Doo one. Ah, oh, it's a swap, but not one we've had that often. I don't think. Little poster again. Other figures available. Thinking we're gonna have to give the Scooby Doo one a little rest for a while because getting too many of the same ones. But at least this is a core cool character because this is Shaggy. Like zoinks. All the same articulation. Won't put him quite so close to the monster. He won't like that. But yeah, nice little figure. We've seen him before. I picked up one last Series 2 Doctor Who 1 as well. Now, Series 3 is out and I've got a Series 3 bag as well. But these Series 2 ones reduced. Thought I'd pick up another one just beforehand. Probably not get any more of these, so uh, probably sold out by the time I get to any more. These we've got other figures available, other playsets available. And now let's see what figure we get. Oh, for goodness sake. Cool figure stand. I love the figure stand. But it's the silence, only it's not. Now this is a really bad bag. This is probably the worst bag I've ever had because we've got the head of the silence, we've got the legs of the silence, and we've got another pair of the legs of the silence. We have no body in this bag. These are essentially spares. A bag of spares. That's bizarre. Pop the legs on there. Can the head fit on the legs? Okay, bizarre little head on legs. Okay, that's really disappointing. First time I've ever known that happen as well. Need to double check with their uh, packing there, I think. Let's see if Series 3 have done any better. Because that was really, really disappointing. There's other sort of figures available. Other play sets, and again, different line of play sets. Let's see what we've got this time. Oh, we've got River Song. 
River Song, epic figure. We got the Doctor last time. We've got River Song. This cannot complain about that. I can complain about that, but I cannot complain about this one. Because not only do we have River Song, whose head really struggling to get on there. It's a tight fit that one. She comes complete with a blaster. You've got to love figures that come with accessories. Again, tight fit in her hand, but once you get it in there, hold it snugly. Waist articulation, skirt articulation slightly. Legs, not hindered by the skirt piece. Arm articulation, head, not so much head articulation on this one, but that's, I think, simply, it will turn, just takes a bit of forcing, because the head barely fits on the pole. But yeah, really nice figure, really nice sculpt. If you actually look, the uh, <laughs> unlike other character building figures I've seen before, including the previous pack, Amy, that I got, it was all just the same body, as you'd expect. This one actually appears to have uh, sculpted in breasts, which for a kid's toy line is bizarre, but a nice touch to detail. So let's put her on a always epically cool figure stand. Show her off to camera a bit more. Pop her, pop her next to Shaggy. Someone to protect him from the monsters. Really like that. Slight problem with the head. But really like it. Face sculpt isn't that flattering. But no, it's still good. Still very good. I like that. I like that a lot and I really like getting a character like that. Gonna have to gonna have her team up with the doctor and team up with Amy. For those of you who don't watch the show, Amy's daughter. You've got to do that. Right, on to something brand new for me. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fast forward blind giant blind bag. Found these in uh, home bargains the other day. 99p from about three years ago. Four, five, six figures to collect. All the packaging seems to be written in foreign. Language I'm not quite sure of. Some European language. Let's see if I've got any clues on the back. Italy, I'm guessing. No, maybe. Yeah, Italy. So it's all written in Italian. Don't know it. So don't know Italian, I'm afraid. Studied it for a while. None of it stuck. But I'm going to pop this open, see what we get, see what they're like. I like the idea of a giant blind bag. I really do. And these, as they're old ones, they're fun little things. Oh, much smaller than I expected inside the packaging. We've got Leo. We've got the leader of the team. Now, of course, Fast Forward was a spin-off from the second Turtle series. Had its own cartoon. Not really watched much of it, but yeah, it looks all right. So I'll look at this then. Plenty of packaging. Looks good on packaging. Oh, comes off the figure stand, which is nice. So you've got options. No articulation, just a little static figure. Cool sword sculpted on the back. Designed to look like he did in the show, I believe. As I say, not a big fan of the show, not watched much of it. But I've seen the other toys look a lot like that. So yeah, good little thing. Looks like it should. What else do we get here? We get another little thing saying what else you can get. Again, all in Italian, so that makes it trickier. But... Fortunately, pictures are helpful. Names next to the pictures as well. Other character names, which are the same no matter what language. Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, 
Cody and Splinter. I think is Cody meant to be uh, Casey Jones and April O'Neil's son? Something like that. Or grandson, maybe. But yeah, nice figure. It also comes with a pack of stickers. So let's have a snip of these, see what stickers we get. See what the stickers are like. I don't know if they're meant to be part of any kind of collection. You know, may I hurry not to try and snip the stickers themselves? Oh, let's just rip it. The scissors aren't working, so we'll just destroy. Yeah, the stickers are numbered, so they must be part of some kind of collection, but I don't have the collection, don't know what the collection was. Let's see what we get then. Splinter, cool looking splinter one. Oh, a multi-part one for the... There's Mikey, it looks like the other turtles are in there as well. There's Don in his fast-forward gear. Some robot dude. And another part of a multi pack of stickers again if you've got the if you've got the album to put them in i'm sure that's even better they'll probably just get discarded because see not a lot to do with them the cool ones i'll keep the others not so much right finishing up with some deadly 60s again this has been guilty for giving me far too many swaps as well but i do like this line so i'm going to see if we keep getting the same again and I'm afraid, no, ooh, I haven't had this one before. As I'm sure you could tell by my ooh noise. We've got Crocodilus Porosus. Saltwater Crocodile. Saltwater Crocodiles are the world's largest crocodilian. Measuring up to 7 metres in length and weighing nearly a 1,000 kilograms. They've been known to hunt, kill and eat Humans. Yeah, that's not nice. Size 8, weapons 10, speed 10, deadliness 10. This is one of the epic ones. This one, again, show off the little insignia on the back. Show off the little card you get with it, paper card. This is one of them killer ones. These, are, This is the daddy of them all, I suppose. Let's pop him together. If we can pop him together, there we go. Now, here's a fun little thing. The head actually comes in two separate pieces. You've got to put the head together as well. Which essentially is a top jaw and a bottom jaw. Okay, saltwater crocodile. Really lovely feel to him. Ridges all down the back. Extended ridges all along the tail. Looking really good. Mouth opens really wide, which is epically cool. Whoop! Small amount of leg articulation, but if you're not careful with it, it'll pop the body off. Let's just make sure all the legs articulate. Yeah, quite a bit on these back legs, it looks like. Tail articulates and waist articulates. Cool thing, really nice sculpt, really like that one. My favourite from Deadly 60 so far and I love the Deadly 60 line. So yeah, that may have restored my faith entirely in this line. Let's see what we've got in the other bag. Pop out the card, pop that out. Oh, is this polar bear? Polar bear! Ashes Maritimus. Another, another proper kick ass Deadly 60 animal. Really done well today. Really happy with this. Polar bear is the largest land predator in the world. They have an extraordinary sense of smell and can actually sniff out a seal from 20 miles away. Polar bears have the strength punch clean through ice and snow again it's stats size 8 weapons 10 speed 10 deadliness 10 another proper kick-ass one same stats as the saltwater crocodile in fact so yeah 
really like this. Really done well with these, I feel. I mean, I'm a big fan of polar bears, so I'm really happy with that. Look at that leg articulation. Nice amount of leg articulation as well. Head articulates. Waist articulates. Essentially just where you put it together, I know, but good amount of articulation. Very cool looking polar bear. Really happy with that. Really like that. Done well today. Definitely done well today. Aside from this one, which just seems bizarre. Done really well. We've got Frankie. Well, Adam. We've got River. We've got Shaggy, which is a swap. Which is a shame. Spoilt it slightly, but eh. I'm not complaining. Shaggy's Shaggy. He's one of the core members. You'll get a lot of them. Saltwater Crocodile, Polar Bear, Leonardo. Nice collection. Really liked that. Done really well today. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with them. Hope you are too. This may not be the last one of these then. Done well. Right. I shall see you all for another one at some point soon, I hope. See you then.